Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Angie and Shane. Hello. Hello. What do we have here? Uh, we have the uh, possum, a very common animal, nocturnal, that we have in Pennsylvania. It's also one of the oldest uh, living specimens of mammal that we have in Pennsylvania. Over 70 to 90 million years, this guy has roamed the earth as he looks like today. That's a long time. Long time. So what? adaptations do they have for like, making them survive for such a long time? Well, one of the real interesting things is this is our only marsupial, mm -hmm. which means it's able to uh, carry the young around in the pouch, just like a kangaroo that you'd find in Australia. Uh, it gives birth to up to 22 to 26 young that are about the size of Lincoln's head on a penny. And wow. then those, those babies that almost look uh, um, like embryonic. they're embryonic in size crawl up into the pouch, they attach to the nipple, and they stay there for over 90 days before they even come out of the pouch. I see the younger one over here, so how young is that one? This one, believe it or not, is about four and a half months old. I mean, it's hard to imagine. You would think it's only a few weeks because it's so little, but um, remembering how tiny and embryonic they are when they're first born and that they develop into the pouch, and they stay in there for 90 days. So um, we're trying to get these guys out. They have to be 13 inches from the tip of the nose to the base of the tail before they can survive on their own for the winter. So we're trying to get to that point this year to get them out and get them on their way because right now we have about 25 of them. And that's a lot to winter over. I don't think I want to do that for this, this season. But if it comes to that, you, you have I'll, to. I will. We'll yeah, have we will. If, if they don't grow big enough, we will. So how old is this one? This one? That Andy's one's more gonna... like seven months old, yeah. believe it or not. That was a baby this spring. And, the difference um, of three months is, is incredible. I mean, yes. these guys will quadruple their size in just a few weeks, given the um, proper size cage and proper food. And they need a diet that's um, high in calcium mm -hmm. and phosphorus because they get rickets or metabolic bone disease. And they tend to, um, their bones won't heal right or won't grow right. And then they can't, they have a strange gait or a strange way that they walk. And then that's not going to help them get away from predators very easily. Like it really lowers their chance of it does, mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to follow very up. specific diet could really affect them later right. on. Another reason why people shouldn't raise wildlife on their own because they have different needs than what your dog and cat would have. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's interesting about this guy, he has a uh, thumb on his back left on his back foot. So if you look closely, you'll be able to see it has an opposable thumb just like we do. Not many mammals other than the, the humans and, and your uh, different types of uh, monkeys, apes, and those types of things have that. Uh, very sharp claws in the front for catching mice, great mousers, and they also have the prehensile tail. If you look at her right here, she's wrapping that tail just like another arm around my hand. Uh, keeps her in, in the trees, keeps her moving. Angie can, the younger ones can actually hang from their tail, the older ones cannot. I doubt if this one's going to uh, cooperate. There we go. If you notice, she's not holding on to that, that's all by its tail. So they, strong tail. they can mm -hmm. hang by their tail, it's just another appendage just like your hand or your arm would be. They're both pretty uh, cute animals you have here. These oh. guys don't seem well. an animal person, that yes. camera seems really cute. Some but. people think it's just a face that only a mother can love, but, <laughs> but they are uh, useful in the environment, they're, they're basically clean up things. Mm -hmm. Find them along the roads a lot of times, and the reason being is they eat a lot of dead animals, they're, they're uh, detritus eaters. And they have 50 teeth in their mouth. So that's a lot of teeth. That's a lot of teeth. We have 32. So they've got a few extra just to keep uh, things going. Usually aren't a big biter, but they do defend themselves. They open their mouth, they drool, their eyes they get real big. People are usually scared of these guys. I was looking at them drool a couple minutes ago. Yes, yeah. constantly drooling. When they're nervous, they drool. Uh, and they also play possum. Yes. They'll lay on their sides, their hands will clench, their eyes will bulge, their tongue will hang out, and they look like they're totally dead which uh, limits the fact that these predators that are ones that react to flight response, they chase after animals. When they play dead, no chase left. So they mm -hmm. kind of lose interest and move on. They, oh, it's already dead. It's, yeah. The meat's probably bad, then they yeah. move on. And he just ate a dead something on the side of the road, so he smells dead at that point. Mm -hmm. So what do you feed them here to like, really give them that special diet? Uh, they have actually a mixture of its cat food with yogurt and blended vegetables and everything kind of adds up to what they need. There's different protein levels, like this one now is off, totally off protein, but this one needs more protein than they do when they're half their size. So you kind of have to weigh them every week to see how many grams they weigh and adjust their diet accordingly. And with the diet also helps them grow yes. to this size and right. just a matter of maybe 
two or three months. Right. Yes. Yeah. Usually they're here about three and a half to four months in the summertime, but in the fall we try to rush them out a little bit more to get them off on their own so we don't have to winter them over. So how long do these possums usually live? Uh, generally, they live between two to four years. Uh, they they break down fairly quickly in the, in the That's wild. That's really short. Yeah. Uh, the big thing is they've adapted over the years that they used to be, uh, they used to feed on snakes. So they're actually immune to the bite of the rattlesnake, which most mammals aren't. So where they have good things that advance them so they can survive. It's very those short things, lifespan. It's a little short lifespan. Yep. Mm. So it's a temporary rule of, kind of immunity, except yes. for right. if like a hawk or something yes. comes in. And of course, them down. your domestic dog or something like that gets a hold of them. But mostly cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cars mm -hmm. are the big thing. Real poor eyesight, very poor hearing, so by the time they know that car's coming, it's already too late. And for some mm -hmm. reason, people like to swear for them. Like we said in the previous uh, series, um, try to slow down a little bit when, you're, when you see these things. Give them an opportunity to get off the road. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of rude if you go out of your way to hit something that's doing absolutely nothing mm -hmm. to you. But what are you going to do? Yep. If we have roads, you have yep. conflicts. Exactly. Anytime we move into their habitat, the more chance we have conflict. Mm -hmm. Kind of like if you move into a bear's habitat, mm -hmm. that bear is going to try to protect it. Right. Yep. And he also loves mm -hmm. trash cans, so he's going to become a neighbor. Yes. <laughs> so what do they use this special fur color for? Like do they use it for camouflage? Or? Uh, it's kind of a camouflage. If you notice, they live a lot of times in the wooded areas, so mm -hmm. that nice gray, white, off color uh, gives them a little bit of an opportunity to hide from other things. Uh, when they're in the trees, they blend in with the trees. Um, and really with the fact that they do not move fast, their poor eyesight, any type of advantage they get is best for them. Mm -hmm. and hence the playing possum that helps them, like, uh, if they can't move fast, just kind of pretend that you're yep. dead. No. Right. And they'll leave a you. lot of trouble. Well, thank you guys so much for telling us about these possums. You're welcome. And if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and also check out my Instagram, at Kolshirk.